to, to uh, um, Kingsland Mason. Oh yeah, yeah, that's a good one. Right? Yeah, you know, you know you're Katie. <laughs> sure. <laughs> Well, I suppose like the coolest thing first off about playing here is that it's right next to our houses. Like I could walk five minutes this way and we're at my house that I grew up my whole life. So basically we grew up in, he grew up in this neighborhood and then I grew up in the neighborhood right behind, right next to it. I mean, the first time I, I met you actually was when Bozier City, yes. when we were playing this, the World Series circuit out there. So I knew who Pesh was prior because he's older, he's 06 and I'm 08. Um, so, in high school, we played, both of us played, but we had played with different crews. And then Bozier City, I think I was 22, and you were maybe 24. 24, 24 yeah. Something about right. Um, we both final tabled it, and I mean, at a certain point, we had to play with each other, and we realized he was Bob, and I was Cord, and yeah, we're both from Taylor. Yeah, so, you know, you know my name's Apeshka, it was like a bit foreign to, to most people it's around here. It's white people name. <laughs> yeah, yeah, basically, so I had a lot of, uh, Asian friends growing up and like you know they'd be going my name's like Michael or Ben and I just thought it'd be funny if I like picked a name Bob. nobody you know picks I went with Bob and it got me like a laugh every first period when I introduced myself as Bob so I went, I went with that good little icebreaker yeah yeah, yeah. and then this is Taylor yeah. High School and then here's our high school Yeah, yeah, I no wrestled. Way. I wasn't very good, so. <laughs> but there probably weren't too many people in your like weight class, or no? No, I mean like, so I wrestled 119. Yeah. Uh, I never wrestled varsity just because I, I quit before then. Yeah. But uh, yeah, I mean there was there was a bit when you're at that low weight class, sometimes you practice with the girls too. Sure. Yeah, you know. Can, uh, and then you can't get beat by the girls. It's not a bad. Well, yeah. There's a little added pressure. For sure. Definitely got beat by the girls sometimes. <laughs> <laughs> I first played my first like home game when I was maybe 16 and uh, just you know like five or ten dollar buy-in with some friends and uh, after after I got hooked I was like playing every single day after school eight friends would come to my house and we would play every single day for like three hours yeah our eighth grade dance theme was like casino themed and really th yeah and so like they obviously had the casino games and then poker because it was such a boom they've set up two little tables to run poker and we got this like everyone got like 20k of play money to start the night Right. And it's like whoever had the most at the end, you know, you, you could, uh, you'd be running for the raffle or whatever. So I ended up like just playing No Limit the entire dance. I didn't, I didn't, didn't dance, just, just, just stayed at the table the whole time, took all the money. Uh, <laughs> so I was like, all right, this is sick. And then after that, I started having friends come over and play like, you know, 10 and $20 tournaments. And then so your mom thought that it's better that because she gets well, money Well, she, she just let me play on her, her, she let me use her information I could play. Um, yeah, like you, I saw that you and your mom are really close. <coughs> like one tournament you played, that she was there at yeah, the, the final table. Yeah, the Colossus. Like that was the first time she actually got to see me play live, and I ended up winning, so that was cool. I told her I wanted to leave high school early to go gamble. Essentially, it's like yeah, hard to condone that. Really. Yeah, you know. But also, <laughs> she had seen me for three years play every day. Like she knew it was more than a, a hobby for me at this point. I think it. Uh, it's so like it really just legitimizes the fact that we can play poker here, like having an official brand, something internationally recognized, um, and that's the coolest thing is because once you see that it's kind of legitimate, you can kind of see that it, there's a lot of room for it to grow, you know, especially with uh, you guys coming down. So it's really there, there exciting. There have been talks of uh, uh, gaming being introduced legally to Texas, more so now than ever, and I think we're still a few years away from it, but. If that happens, like Pesh said, I think that Dallas and Houston would become a new Vegas because it's so big and there's so much money to build build awesome architecture here and I just think that we need a new Vegas in America, you know? The game is like better and don't pick at the final table, it'll be alright. <laughs> and make Texas proud, right? Oh, make Texas hold like, them again. I feel like we've already done that. <laughs> The World Poker Tour is sponsored by Club WPT.